repurposing means breaking content apart. Yeah. That it's only taking long form content and making it short. That is not correct. Repurposing can be taking a bunch of short form content and making it long or putting some short form content in with some long form content or changing one long form asset type like video into another long form asset type like a downloadable PDF or a long form blog. I think maybe even a bigger misconception is that it takes place after you've created the original piece of content. And I think some of the times that I've had the most success with repurposing a piece of content was I thought about how I was going to repurpose it before I created it. And in doing so, structured it and wrote it in a way that made repurposing very easy, that made distilling things down to those really great insights very simple. It made it easier on everyone involved too. It made it easier on design to go in there and really understand what I'm trying to get at to take this bulleted list of seven things on a blog post and turn it into a really great LinkedIn carousel. I think that might even be the bigger misconception that it's an easy task. It is a task that requires just as much effort as the original content creation piece. And it has to be done much earlier than you probably think it does. There seems to be this misbelief that this is easy and it's not, we'll remix it. Yeah, we'll just, that's what we'll do. That is not easy. You need to make that spinoff content be able to stand on its own often. It needs to have the relevant context for people who are coming to this kind of experience or this information cold. It has to be optimized for the different channels that you're doing. For instance, something on social and what you'd find on a blog post or a product page. The expectations of the audience are different. 